Welcome back, YouTube. Another episode of Coinsy Worlds. If you haven't already, hit the like, smash, and subscribe. Welcome to the family. In this channel, we like to help upcoming welders, beginning welders, anybody who just likes to weld. Things you're going to learn in the field, things you're going to utilize in your shop, things you can just use in your backyard. We're using my Hobart Handler 140. We're going to be welding a T-joint with the flux cord process. For the stick out, I like to have about half inch. I like to keep about a, right here, maybe like a 40, 45 degree. From the top, I don't like to hold it straight. I like to hold it like at an angle. Remember, if it leaves a, a slag, you have to drag. If it leaves a slag, you have to drag. This is flux cord, so it's gonna leave a slag. You wouldn't want to push it because it doesn't make sense. You know, you're going to just kind of stack it, push it against it. No. With flux cord, what you want to do is you want to drag. Hold it down and drag. Okay. With MIG, you can manipulate it more. With flux cord, you can if you like. But, I mean, if anything, I'll do half. Just straight dragging. And then I'll do the other half. Doing like a little C motion. So you can see what you like. Circles now. We're gonna do circles. Pull it away to clean the flux. If you don't have uh, wire uh, cutters, if you don't have wire cutters, send it to the back. And keep going. You'll be fine.
straight drag. Little C technique. Little circles. Don't forget that like, smash, and subscribe. Comment down below any suggestions you'd like to see next. I'm open-minded to all kinds of things.